Hey there friends, how is it going? I recently watched Pepsi Where's My Jet and I saw the commercial in it and I was kind of inspired. I wanna take you back to the 90s. I'm gonna show you some of these commercials. They're wild, wacky, and hilarious. They've aged so poorly. Because a lot of weird stuff came from the 90s, including me, and the commercials were even weirder, believe it or not. So we're diving in at the deep end. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, it looks like a horror film. If the, this guy is looking right into my soul, I assume, there aren't enough pixels to see his eyes. The power glove. What the hell is this? Oh my god, it's a Nintendo power glove! Oh my god, how didn't this thing catch on? Why isn't this every single one of my videos? Did you see the look he gave his camera? You can even see the eyes. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but we're gonna pause. I want to see what this power glove is really like. Power glove contaba con un sensor de movimiento primitivo que en teoría permitía jugar a... Okay, my Spanish isn't good enough, but the little I can pick up on, I think he's saying it works amazing, it's perfect, and he feels just as cool as the commercial that played in 1991. Down, down, go the... Down. <laughs> Finally, I found someone using it. But yeah, exactly like the commercial. Games that were specially made for the Power Glove sold poorly, and the Power Glove was a critical and commercial failure. But let's get back on track. Ah! No, I don't. I want to get off the track, whatever this track is. Ever wish you could follow the yellow brick road? <laughs> oh my god, no. I don't want to ever step foot on that road. Why are 90s commercials so scary? It's the truth. What? Oh my god, this looks intense. I'm trying to figure out what this could be for. It's for gum. That's it. I was thinking it, it was going to be car commercial because car commercials have this amazing talent of showing something totally irrelevant and then showing you the amazing APR they have on the new Nissan Qashqai. No way, Jose! Even the graphics are just demented. It, everything feels like a fever dream. <laughs> so you like them? Crush McDonald's. This must have been an anti-McDonald's ad. <laughs> I don't understand why it says Crush McDonald's. Ba 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 ba. I'm confused. This adores me. <laughs> He's got this hair that kind of goes <laughs> Oh, so it's based on their crush. Okay, that makes sense. I do like her description of hair. Anytime I go into a barber, I'm just like, yeah, just make it go bloop. Oh, look who's here. <gasps> oh my God, they're meeting up. McDonald's crush. I'm so confused where this is going. Good time, good taste. All right. Okay, I'm not even going to try and digest that one because I'm still digesting the McDonald's that I just had. <laughs> I just don't get why it was relevant. Why does it matter if they're if, if they have a crush on each other and they're in McDonald's? That just seems like McDonald's is the background of the story. Well, actually, it did work. This is their 53 stock price trend and in the 90s it was going down, but then this advert came along and it saved the entire business. Quote me on it. Unless it came out in 1990, in which case it was the single reason for a 14-point plummet. Now, back to the matter at hand. Who is this blue guy and what does he want to sell me? No, not him, the other one. Oh, it's toothpaste. Oh my god, that was... Whoa! Whoa! What is going on? There's dragons? What is happening? <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that I've used Crest toothpaste and I don't feel self-conscious for all the smiling this is bringing out in me because this is amazing. This advert would make me buy anything. And now available in a clear tube. And in a clear tube? This product must have taken off. On um, fairness, I've... I lied to you a little bit. I've never heard of Crest toothpaste, but I'm Irish. What would I know? Kevin, did you brush your teeth? You have to be getting to bed. I know, Mom. What do you think I'm doing? God. I wasn't even going to comment on this one because it's just for something Mario. But he just lost enthusiasm completely at the end of this. Listen to it. Super Mario, tomorrow at 7. <laughs> there wasn't even an attempt at being enthusiastic. Like, Super Mario, tomorrow, 7. Is it? It's either like extremely over the top cool or terrifying. <laughs> it's one or the other so far. Oh, it's about skateboarding. I skateboard. I, I think it was for a drink. I'm not sure. Suckers. Now anyone can have all the brain power they want. Just look for a PC with an Intel. What? 
A Simpsons ad for Intel? What do you have inside? No! Okay, that's actually a good advert. I like that one a lot. But maybe that's just because I really like The Simpsons. What is this for? There, maybe this is an advert for what homes are going to be like in the future when no one can afford anything. Or, or maybe not. No, they're having fun. That can't be it. <laughs> oh, a flat TV from Philips! It's so flat, it's... It's hardly a foot thick. A thieving mortician, a frisky hotel maid, what? and you won't believe what the secretary does in her boss's office. I think I discovered where clickbait originated from. In a world where in oh, classic movie trailer voice. I love it. It has 90s all over it. With a backbone the size of Missouri. What? Buddy Lee is Buddy Lee in Buddy Lee. <laughs> I don't like it. You know, I haven't watched this one yet, but we're this far into the video. Um, if you're enjoying, drop a like, by the way. I'd appreciate that a lot. We're this far into the video. We're parched, I would imagine. I'm pretty thirsty. I would like an advert for Sprite Sun Fizz, which I've never heard of, so I can assume this advert did so well that all the production has been gone ever since. Sold out. Mom, we're thirsty! Well, I've got two glasses of Sun Fizz coming right up. <laughs> Why does there always have to be a weird enemy? What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god, it's become self-aware. <laughs> is this actually an advert or is this... <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna kill them all. Trust your gut, not some cartoon character. That is the best ad I've seen all day. <laughs> that was actually really good. I just want to point out something because in a few of these I've seen trailers for movies and they just look really bad. They don't really highlight how good the movie is. It's just like, this summer, someone famous does something famous. And that's it. Whereas the acting in this is amazing. Watch this pure terror. <laughs> like that mom at the end is just so convincing. I love the comments on this one, by the way. The creepiest thing is the son never denies their fear. A fear. He just keeps on chasing. You don't know if he's evil or not. He just yells how great Sun Fizz is. Remember, if the dog is afraid of it, run. The girl screaming, Mom, is utterly bone chilling. Top tier child actor right there. I also love the follow up. What's her name? She doesn't do acting anymore. What's her name? Uh, I can't remember. This one isn't a 90s commercial. I just came across it and I, I thought you might like to see it and I'm giving you no context. You just had a brand new orange candy. <laughs> my baby, my sweet candy baby. Okay, so I want to show you this next one as well, but no context. I will tell you what this is for. Um, I think you'll know it. If you've watched my channel at all in the past, you probably know this product. Hey there, sport. What's all the racket? It's a hot tub party, Daddy. <laughs> Yikes. Those crab cakes sure pack a wallop. Okay, you've seen it. I'm gonna give you like five seconds. Is it for A, a car, you know, foreshadowing back there, B, a hot tub, or C, uh, The Sims? You got one picked? Okay, good, let's find out. When you create the characters yeah, it's, and design Yeah, it's The Sims. I don't really get it either. <laughs> Weird angle. The Sims, it's a new game every day. I've already watched one of these. They're adverts for Mentos. They're singing about Mentos in the background. And I'm guessing this is following the same theme of doing something totally unrelated. And he just happens to have Mentos because that's what it's seeming like. <laughs> he just got a job as a waiter and he's serving himself because Mentos. He even holds them up just like that at the end. <laughs> like it's done something amazing. Oh, it's this, the same tune every time. What's she gonna do now? Uh, they're gonna move the car and they hold them up at the end. Okay, I'm getting the theme now. <laughs> I don't think I need to watch more. Oh, what have we got here? Let's go. Oh, it's another toothpaste one. I'm starting to think I really, really like toothpaste commercials from the 90s. You see, YouTube, this is the problem. We wouldn't mind uh, if you playing multiple ads in one go, if they were all like this. So if you could just close off the adverts for everyone, except for Colgate 
And the other one that I've already forgotten because I've not seen that head recently. <laughs> that would be great. Please it fruit drink. A fruit drink? What? Okay, that was that was a little bit yikes for me. <laughs> Go ahead. Squeeze. That is such a strange advert. I don't like that the squeeze things, the drinks, either seem to be A, enjoying being drank, or B, in horrible, horrible pain when they're being drank. Sometimes I cannot be as one with cool, too busy with the grind. But when I shake loose, I home in on cool like a bird dog. With yeah, my me too. It's how I stay oh. Yeah, me too. I love my pager. I too am very cool. <laughs> God, they really tried to amp this up about being like, having a pager is pretty damn cool, you guys. <laughs> yeah, bro, I don't know, you can say whatever you want, but I'm a Colgate guy through and through. <laughs> Wait, hold on, that's my pager. Oh, mom says it's din din times. I gotta go, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Boy, I would have been cool as an adult in the 90s. I was pulling this this pose, like, you know, part of the gag and whatnot, and then I looked back at my screen and that's exactly what the cool guy with the pager is doing, so maybe I am cool after all. Not cool. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm here with my friends. Is this... Oh, it's a Nickelodeon advert. Oh, I... Okay, all right. That was a lot to digest in a very short time. <laughs> Why were they wearing shoes? <laughs> Windows 95, eh? No, it'll never catch on. Now what's this? Blockbuster. Yeah, now this is something I can see catching on. How about changing some water? There's this ad for a Tamagotchi, which is centered around the fish talking about what the Tamagotchi can do and how it's being neglected because the child is looking after the Tamagotchi. I'm not sure if this is a great message for the parents who would be the ones buying the toy. Speaking of Windows 95, there was also this. I, I remember seeing this somewhere where Matthew Perry and Jennifer Aniston were like, the video tutorial for Windows 95, which is just the weirdest crossover to me. Oh, this is so trippy. Whoa, she's blown away. What are they doing? Oh, they're renaming a Word document. That is pretty trippy, Jennifer. Oh, gosh! But she's scared. Oh, there was... What was that? There was a slight error. She was terrified. What is it? Please insert the disc labeled Windows 95. Oh, I'd be pretty terrified as well. Not only because I don't have the disc anymore, but my computer doesn't even have a disc reader. We've gone backwards, people. Backwards. Backwards. Too far. I fast forwarded and there's skateboarding for some reason. It's Joystick Johnny. What did he say? Did he say, where's Gates? Where's Games? Or where's Gay? It's Joystick Johnny. Where's Gay? I don't really understand any of this. He's probably heard that the new multimedia support in Windows 95 makes games fast and cool. Like, how am I supposed to no-scope all these noobs on Fortnite if they're running Windows 95 and I'm still on Windows 92. Was Windows 92 a thing? My brain kind of auto-completed there, but I, I don't know if it's actually a thing. It is a thing. I'm safe. The joke stays. Yeah, well, nobody's leaving until somebody's man enough to play a little 3D pinball with old Joystick Johnny. <laughs> we got a hostage situation because Joystick Johnny wants to play pinball. Johnny, this has gone too far. You need to return the hostages. Just let them go, Johnny. At least send Jennifer and Matthew Perry out as a sign of goodwill. Johnny. You gotta talk to us. What do you want? Well, nobody's leaving until somebody's man enough to play a little 3D pinball with old Joystick Johnny. Take the shot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, and now this electric guitar. This really just has the 90s covered in one thing, doesn't it? Want an egg? <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something, I've learned something. Now they're Windows 95-ing, they're dancing, they're, they're playing music, they're skateboarding. It's the 90s, ladies and gentlemen. Red button. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, and... Jennifer Aniston just panel snapped them by the looks of it. It wouldn't be the 90s, I suppose. Like, we were missing one thing, and that's weird graphics effects. There we go, we have it all now. Nobody turns on a sale like Sears. Oh, Sears, awesome. I'm gonna head to Sears. Oh, wait, I didn't Sears that it ended in 98. Damn it, only like 15 years too late. 
Ah, well, I have a good feeling about this Sears business. Okay, so I thought it would be fun. We've already seen a few kids commercials, but to just focus in on 90s kids commercials, because this was the era you didn't have to say, like, warning, toy cannot fly or anything. They could just do whatever they wanted to manipulate you into buying it. Don't let a new car payment be a financial burden. I, I don't think this is for children. <laughs> Or maybe it's just starting them in adulthood much sooner back then. <laughs> okay, here's a kid's commercial. Wait till you see my new hat! I just love to go shopping. I do too! That's great! I have something to tell you. What? I'm gonna kill you and your family! I don't know why I worried so about mom after dad was gone. Yeah. What kind of heavy advert is this? This is supposed to be a kid's advert. And her money's being managed by people she knows. This is what kids want. Solid financial planning. Where a simple game of pool is just the- Okay, this is one of those products that would have tricked me when I was young. This is the kind of thing I would have been hyped over. I would have never gotten it. But I'm so glad my parents didn't fall for it because I know they would have been awful. <laughs> Honestly, these ads are pretty decent. Like, not saying it's convincing me to buy a Barbie. I already wanted to buy one anyway. What I'm saying is they're using their hand and moving it. It's not like hyping it up crazy. It just looks like a doll cycling. A little bit uncanny valley, but other than that, it's fine. Bicycle and Barbie doll comes with a bike. When you push her, she really pedals. I like how they needed to squeeze that at, at the end there. It's like Bicycle and Barbie, just so you're aware, she cycles and has a bike. <laughs> just in case they didn't get it from the rest of the ad. The Page Master, rated G. Start oh, I remember that film. It was really weird. I think it was one of those things that was like, it's a 90s film and it's for kids. But it's a little bit terrifying at the same time. I think I may have repressed it because I don't remember much. Oh, nice. Seven jungle friend baby sets sold separate. The way what? Is what gets to you. It was they keep saying it's a routine. They keep going from like just little kid commercials for toys to these really hard hitting medical adverts. Only a Lego maniac could turn nasty pirates into lunch. What? Great, I, I was happy before today, but now that face is gonna haunt me forever. Maniac not included. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Lego Mania! Yes, Stretch Armstrong. Now stretching fun as far as it will go. Whoa, I used to love this dude. Well, I never got one, but I always really, really wanted one. I saw a video actually. They asked the age old question of how much can they stretch? Yeah, it was this one I remember because he was beating him up at the start before he cut his hand off and filled him with a hose. That's one bicep. <laughs> Never skip right bicep day. Look at that for stretchy. Like, that is value for money. That is a lot of material in there. His face, hands and feet are the exact same. <laughs> it's so great. And there he goes. I'm strong. I don't know why he added the voices, but I'm glad he did. Oh, great, an advert with a jingle. I needed a jingle for the next clip. You know what, I have something to tell you. This whole video was a 90s commercial for my channel. So be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. Oh man, now I want Pringles.